What's up? Welcome back to another exciting edition of Resurrecting This Camouflage S13 Back from the Dead. Uh, today I have the rear differential up here on these stands. Now, uh, this is an R200 differential, it's a factory differential. I do have the um, viscous LSD case on it now because that's going to hold a little more fluid. And uh, we all like to hold a little more fluid, you know? Uh, so I'm going to rip... Um, basically what we have here is an open differential. Now these things in the United States all came with open differentials. And what an open differential means is that when you apply power and, and they make these things, they make these things this way because it's really cheap to make. And I feel like with this car, the way it was, the torquey motor, it, it should have come with an LSD, a limited slip differential. Um, but it didn't. And so there's a couple of choices, a couple of options you could do. You can, you can ball out and spend, you know, like 1200 bucks and get a, um, like a two way differential. There's a few different companies that make them, or you could do it for the cheap way, uh, which is actually a little more reliable because with a, with an LSD, a limited slip differential, you have to, uh, you have to do maintenance to it. You have to, you know, make sure to change the oil at certain intervals, the clutch discs wear out. You have to do a rebuild at some point. And with a welded differential, you don't have to do anything. Um, yeah. So what a uh, what an what an open differential means is that see how these rotate in different directions. So what that'll do is there's a gear inside. Which once I pop this cover off, I'll show you guys. As the drive shaft spins the gear, the ring and pinion, it rotates this inner inner gear, which has spider spider gears on it, and what that does is it um, it only allows one wheel to if one wheel burns out and loses traction the other wheel just stays put so actually gives a little more grip uh, doesn't really let you come out but when you do come out it's a bit scary it's uh, yeah it's kind of fun but anyways uh, so this is the differential I'll be welding the differential I'm gonna get in here throw some welds there'll be some you know be some sparks I'm gonna burn out the fluid because that seems to be the fun way to do it. And once again, we all like playing with fire. So uh, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to open this thing up. And you guys, you guys can watch. So normally when you do this, you're going to be draining out all the fluid, but it already had the fluid dump out at some point. All right. This is how it works, right? So when both wheels turn, let's see this, right? When both wheels turn, right? But when one wheel loses traction, as I rotate these things opposite directions, those spider gears engage, and that's what creates an open differential. So what I'm going to be doing is welding down in here, right? I'm going to burn off all the little excess oil that's in here, which is uh, it's going to involve some fire. But, yeah, I'll be welding all of these spider gears, right? I don't want to weld the, uh, I'll weld the flanges for the axles in there, but, you know, see what we could do. So I'll be welding both sides of this. I'll weld one side, I'll flip it over, I'm going to weld the other side, and it'll be fun. So... That is essentially what we're doing. That's how an open differen differential works. Uh, this is the ring gear here. This is the pinion down there. This is the actual differential. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm going to get to it. All right, so let's start by burning out the guts, the stuff, the oil. Um,
done. Yeah. All right, cool. Time to weld. The old school, I guess. So now I'm going to get in here and weld these spider gears together. Uh, it's really important to not weld the axle, the axle, uh, the axle flanges, basically end shafts, to your spider gears, or you'll never be able to get these things out. Uh, that's what the downside of ever using a MIG welder in here, because it gets all these little speckles and, and spatter everywhere, and uh, sometimes that'll stick to your axle shafts and you can't get them out. But uh, I'm using the TIG welder because I'm fancy. And, uh, and this thing's the this is my Miller Synchrowave 250. Uh, I've been welding on this thing for over 20 years. Same welder, it's never failed me. So um, you know, a lot of you guys, know, I, a lot of my friends know I don't drink. I never have. So this is my Miller time. That side's all welded up. I'm gonna flip it over, repeat the process, and then this thing will be ready to drift. Oh yeah! So I am all done welding the differential. Uh, I got my nice little welding beads in there. It's gonna hold all that stuff together, that welding magic. It's gonna keep it from turning and lock that differential. Uh, now time for the close-ups, come on in. So if you notice, I weld, I weld all the spider gears together first, <clears throat> and then I run the bead along the outside of the, the outside spider gears the ones that connect to the uh, to the axle shaft splines. And so this thing, you know, these actually will not move. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of force. I will have to break the differential, the ring gear, before I break these things. And so um, I'm, I'm confident this will hold. I've done this so many times. It's been in so many different cars uh, for so, so many different years. Uh, I've seen these differentials Walda differentials hold up to uh, almost a thousand horsepower, and for you know for an entire season. I, am, I know Matt Van Kirk. He had he was pushing pushing around six hundred horsepower on his two JZ, and he had a stock R one fifty four. And we would get these things off Craigslist. Uh, we would just buy them off Craigslist if we ever needed one. If he ever broke a ring and pinion, uh, we would just go pick a, a welded one and we we trusted it <laughs> and we always talked about is that gonna work is it gonna hold but it, it always did and uh, we went quite a few seasons on the same welded differential so it's not there's not a lot to it uh, 
you know, don't overthink it. Just get in there, weld it, get it back on your car, get and get sideways. Get your uh, get your little skitties on, you know. Um, yeah, <clears throat> that's it. I'm gonna clean this thing up. I might throw some paint on it, make it look nice. I'm gonna let this thing cool because it is hot. The whole case is hot. Um, still spins nice. Those carrier bearings are still uh, still happy with me. I didn't cook them. I didn't cook them too much. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna get this thing all assembled and I'll uh, I'll show it to you when I'm done. Yeah. yeah. All right, this diff is all welded and assembled, and there's only one step left to do, and that's putting gear oil. I picked up some Redline shockproof gear oil. This is a 75W90, and uh, this stuff's fantastic. Used it on the FD cars for a bunch of years. Yes, but I can't help thinking, but something's missing on this thing. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe this build needs to be a little more fancy. Just a little bit. So uh, I think I have an idea. There's <laughs> like the ghost of Snoop Dogg's in here. Woo! Whoa! Now that's what I'm talking about. There's a little bling for your screen. Ah, all right. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to get the diff fluid in this thing and get it installed in the subframe. Uh, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Uh, there's a lot more to go, so stay tuned and I'll keep bringing them to you. All right. All right, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you guys next time.